fair to say GXO should make that decision? If they don't want filming, they should tell no, me. No, no, no. Pro Lodges don't want their grounds filming. It's not up to GXO it is. or them. If GXO and them want their property filming, yeah. or Claire's wants it filming, they'll give you a phone call and ask you to come and film. No. Yeah, brand new is this? What's this place? Sorry? I don't even know myself. Oh, I'll you work, don't? I work there. Right, yeah. Is it brand new? Huh? Is it brand new? Why, have you been here before? No, no. It's all new to me anyway. What's that? It's all new to me myself. Right. Cheap, cheap bargains, bag shop, it says. Looks like it's having something uh, like refurbished. Uh, What's that, mate? There's uh, construction people working in there. Yeah, that's it. I just want to find out what they're up to. Plastic surgeon. Oh, they've even got a security guard in there. We've got a little hut. Electric security gate. Decorating. G Sykes. And they've got a metal skip as well, some scrap metal in there. Can't quite see inside though. They've got a big canopy area, so you can't really see inside. Good afternoon, sir. Oh yeah. Can I ask who you are and why you're flying that over here? Just getting some footage mate. Just for the YouTube channel, that's all. You don't have to ask me to leave because it's a private property. Where does the private property start? From the traffic lights around the corner. This what? all belongs to Pro Lodges. Yeah. Pro Lodges is fine. You don't own it, do you? Your company. Uh, I work for Pro Lodges. Yeah, you're securing this particular no, unit. No, no. Aren't you? I'm securing the whole. I work for Pro Lodges. They ask us to look after the roads and everything. Do they? Yes. Oh right, okay. Because um, if you don't believe me, I'll, I'll tell Mr. Paul Johnson right now from Pro Lodges. I didn't say that. No, well, I'm just proving the point that we do yeah. actually look after all the roads. Yeah. So um, people that have got business, let's say with Claire's and GXO. Yeah. You've got the power to stop them coming in, have you? Not if they've got 
Legitimate business here, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm videoing next. GXO and Claire's. I'm doing them all. Yeah, but you're on private property. As long as you're on these roads, after the traffic lights, you're on Prologis' ground. Yeah, no problem with A that. Prologis doesn't want none of their properties filming. All these properties belong to Prologis. They're all rented from Prologis. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but wouldn't you think that's um, fair to say GXO should make that decision? If they don't want filming, they should tell no, me. No, no, no. Prologis don't want their grounds filming. It's not up to GXO it is. or them. If GXO and them want their property filming, yeah. or Claire's want it filming, they'll give you a phone call and ask you to come and film. No, I just turn up and offer. Well. So if they say yes, they say yes. If they don't, I move on. Fair enough. And that's what I've done here. So you've told you, me. You haven't come here and asked us. No, I, I do the video and I give it to you and then say, well, if you want to come out and have an obje objection, that's fine. No problem. Pro Lodges have said they don't want no filming on their land, and this is their land. The roads and everything is their land. I understand the laws where you're allowed to film whatever you want from a public, from public access ways. Right. So, in other words, from a public road, you can film whatever is within sight. Right. There's no problem with that. Right. The public road starts at the traffic lights. Yeah, and I understand what you're saying. So it's a private estate managed by Pro Lodges, there yeah? You go. All these units pay into the pot and the ground maintenance get done with all that money and stuff like that, yeah? So it's managed by the estate estate facilities, yeah? Yeah, if they want the buildings. Yeah. So you're like you're employed. Re uh, reconditioned. You're employed. Are you paid by Pro Lodges, are yes. you? So you're not an external contractor, security contractor. No. Right, okay. We are Pro Lodges own security. What SIA license? Yes. Because normally I do see a blue card. Yeah, I've display. got one. It's normally on display, like in there. It doesn't have to be on display as long as I can produce it when I was by the SIA. All oh, right, so it don't, it don't need to be on display by law? It Does, doesn't have to be displayed. Right. You see, you're, you're teaching me something here. So anyway, what's this place going to be? No idea yet. It's, at the moment, it's still just a warehouse. It's just being refurbed. Right. They've not got a new owner? I have no idea. Tenant. They, they wouldn't tell me that. Right. I'm just a lowly security officer. Yeah. So <laughs> you're here to make sure nobody enters that area and even the car park anywhere past this gate this fence and come the weekend we block the road off as well because we get boy races and all do you right so because of that we've got we have a blockade as you go around the corner there right so are you still situated there at weekends yep 24 right. hours so can you still see that no we've got another one down there on the weekend oh you've got two guards we've got another right. one down there with dogs and everything as well now. brilliant brilliant yeah so yes, um, GXO, Claire's, Tenico, they've all got an opportunity to say, we don't want you on our land. But you've got my reassurance. Yeah, I, suppose, I suppose if you look at it that way, I suppose, yeah, yes, you, you could say that. Yeah. yeah, It's like a cold call. Yeah. So if you've got cold callers here, just because yeah, yeah. you, you, yeah. you say... I've got no problem with you filming whatever you want to film, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I've got to be seen to be doing my job as well. Yeah, 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 I get that, I get that. Well, you've got my reassurance, I won't come past your fence line. Once I've been to each unit here, if they object, I'm not going to put up a fight, you know? No, no, no. As long as you, as long as you go into the reception or whatever and ask them. First. Well, no, I don't. Because if I go into the reception, I'm interfering with their business. So I'm filming their business and I'm putting it on the YouTube channel. If they come out and say, get off our land, I'll get off. And I'll return back to here. Once every single unit has told me to leave, <laughs> I've got the, the collective decision then that I'm not welcome here. But at the moment, one of them might say, oh, I watch your channel. I love your work. Go ahead. I'd love to see this place from above. You know, so, yeah. and there is a lot of that happening. Oh People... yeah, no, I understand that. I can... I watch a lot of YouTube stuff as well, to be honest with you. And, right. I mean, some of the stuff people think is absolutely stupid, but you sit there and you watch like, what's he called? Uh, beard, beard meets food or something like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. And these guys that do the um, magnet fishing. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, the well, sort of stuff they pull out. <laughs> there's like, that, there's brand that Australian new bikes. bloke, I can't remember what his channel's called. Yeah, the Australian one. He goes all around the bloody world, though, doing it. Yeah, Paris, Rome. Yeah, Amster he Amsterdam. He loves Amsterdam. Yeah, loves all the Amsterdam. bicycles that are in Amsterdam canals. No, I'm more interested in the guns and that that he's pulling oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like Jake, isn't there, who does the scuba diving, and he pulls out watches and iPhones and all sorts. And he actually tries to trace the owner of the phone yeah, and yeah. get it back yeah. to them. That, that Australian guy does as well. He finds a wallet or something and it's still got cards in it. And you can make out an address, yeah. you'll go and you'll try and find them. And somebody's just been playing on a yeah. swing, yeah, dropped the, it. The, uh, the other one that I watched as well, the scuba divers, they go diving and they find all the watches and the phones. That's and... it, Jake, yeah. Is that, oh, is that who you were talking about? Yeah. yeah. He just had a, a very serious injury, he did, and he was in hospital, yeah. Oh, dear. 
So do you make money from doing this or? Well, everyone that watches the video, they watch an advert. So I get sort of, I think it's eight pound per thousand views. So you're forced to watch an advert. Even if you press skip, I still get paid. Oh, right. Because the advertisers pay to be on my video. So the fact that you've watched it, you might then go but ahead I mean, and like buy it. If you went to GXO and, and they came out oh, and they no. said, oh no, yeah, we'd like a bit of whatever. It's free. You... I say, well, you'll see the footage on YouTube. If you want any of the footage without me talking over it, the raw footage, oh, right. I'll email it to you. No, no cost at all. I get my revenue through the YouTube adverts. And that's why some of them say, actually, while you're here, <laughs> it's a free service. And I even had a, a 360 degree shot to Google Maps. Oh, you know, right. You've yeah, got yeah. like the tag. Yeah. So visitors that are visiting can click on that. Oh, look. That little thing's quite quick, isn't it? Don't... Yeah, it's the latest yeah. one. And the fact that it's 249 gram, it's so light. Like, look, imagine if that fell on you. It's like a bird. Mm. <laughs> it's nothing, is it? Brilliant. So when you're flying that, that, whole, that camera moves all over. And... Yeah, up, down. It doesn't move left and right. You have to move the drone left and right, yeah, yeah. but it certainly moves but up and down. Moves up and down. And it's nice and stable, so look. Oh, shit, yeah. And these sensors, if you're traveling forwards and there's a wall there, it literally won't go into oh, the wall. Yeah. You've only got one camera, the 4K camera. Yeah. Sensors there, sensors there, so it obstacle Stops you from avoidance. Trees and shit. Yeah. In the back, you've got the yeah, SD yeah. card there. You just slot that out, put it in your computer. Expensive? Um, I think they're about. 900 now with the batteries but a nice big screen yeah very easy to use <laughs> and if you don't say so like even if there's wind if you don't move these sticks it will just sit there and it will it hovers it will counteract any wind and it's got a gps location yeah. it'll just stick to that gps location so it won't come down unless you bring it down that's right it'll just stay in the, the battery runs out <laughs> yeah well if the battery runs out you know it lands by itself it comes back home oh it doesn't just drop no it will never drop it will always come back home, it knows and then the, how much it needs to get the back. One on the, on the, is that just for your own protection type thing? No, or? I talk into it. So as I'm flying, oh, this yeah. is the microphone that I talk into. Oh, okay. And as I'm walking around, I go, this is a, an unsigned unit. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but let's find out. You know, it's like an investigation, something unusual. Yeah. None of us know what it's going to be just yet, yeah. to be honest that, with you. That's the only question I've asked, isn't it? Yeah. We don't know what it's going to be yet. We're just refurbing it at the moment and then... Your prologues can get a new tenant in, and that's what happens. Yeah, I did notice on the Google Maps it's got a tag saying "cheap, cheap bargain bag shop." That must be the old tenant. No, the old tenant was uh, Bromford Industries. Bromford, right? It doesn't say that. It was Bromford Industries before. Okay, interesting. Cheap, cheap. Never even bloody heard of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> no, I believe you. I've never heard of them before. Cheap, cheap bargains. Really? Bromford Gate, the Fort Parkway, a bag shop. Nah, not here. <laughs> oh, located inside Bromford Industries. Nah. An aerospace. Oh, that's what it used to have on, did yeah, it? Yeah. That's Where have they moved to then, Bromford? Oh, God knows. They got they got a, a massive con a government contract. Oh, so this yeah. place was too small then? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but yeah, the landlord's certain spending... <coughs> certainly spending they a lot do, of money. They do with the, they've, got, uh, they've got these estates all over the country. I know they have, yeah. And uh, they spend the money on them all the time. Yeah. They've, they've got one. that one as well. That's just new one. All right. They've got yes. one at Daventry, and it's actually got a railway going into it. Oh, yeah. oh, I've never even heard of that one. Yeah. So you, you know more than Brand me. <laughs> a massive Royal Mail there as well. Oh, right. Yeah. I just stick, stick to industrial estates and anything unusual. I mean, look, the Clare... Claire's accessory is headquarters. Yeah. You know? How many times would you, you think, oh, where is the Claire's accessory? Yeah, you wouldn't even think there was a, a big headquarters at like Claire's, would you? All the when tiny little the, shops. You see the shops in yeah. town, you go, nah. <laughs> but it needs all that to run all those little shops. Yeah. And are they franchised, you know? Or are they owned and operated by Claire's? Claire's, I don't want to speak out of term, but I think they're in cahoots with DHL. Right. Because you see a hell of a lot of DHL going in there as well. Yeah, they have a, an appointed yeah. uh, freight forwarder, well, freight haulage company. And being as DHL have got a depot just down the road at uh, yeah. Minworth, yeah. easy yeah. for them. Minworth, I've done the Seven Trent works at Minworth. That's amazing there. But have, yeah. you, have you ever done any of the Amazons? Yes, loads. Have you had any trouble there? Amazon? No. They don't normally like the filming either. I used to work at the one in Roosting. 
Well, Amazon, they always have a, a locker. So the members of the public can go in and collect from the locker. So you could go in there and film your collection because do you know if you get a damaged parcel yeah. or it's the wrong thing, you always film, you open in, collecting the parcel yeah, for your no, evidence. We had, we had the lockers in, <coughs> usually, but it was only the people who worked there was allowed to use it. But was it accessible? Could, could you just walk no, in? No, 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 you had to go through, through the security, security gates. Ah, right. Everything. Yeah, we're finding that although it says not a public location, some of them you can actually access. So that information is, I'm putting that out there. So guys, this is another one. Although it says not public, it is public yeah, accessible. They, they don't like all the filming and that. But, uh, yeah. What they'd normally do is they, you have to stop. You'd stop at the gate, and if they saw anybody with cameras or anything, they'd send security out straight away. Is that in case something gets leaked? Hey, something it's... that they're doing wrong gets leaked. Possibly. You didn't hear it from me, but. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Well, you're not working for them anymore. Oh, you, you could be in the future. No, no well, <laughs> I doubt it very much. Right. Okay. I, I, I moved companies after working for them. But uh, there are quite a few things there that a lot of people are going, no, that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> but if you speak out, you've lost your job, haven't you? So. Well, Amazon don't really employ people. Oh, well, they're using agencies, are they? Yeah. Right. Why would you use an agency? Disposable. When you've got such a big company and you need so many people. So you can get rid you of them? You just said it, you said yeah. it. Disposable. Yeah, yeah. An agency staff member could walk in there today, fly it on the spot. Yeah, true. Can't say, can't say a bloody word to Amazon about it because you don't work for Amazon. Do they give a legitimate reason, like pretend, oh, we just don't need you anymore? But the real reason might be we can't well, trust you. Put it this way, where are we now? Uh, May. Yes, yeah, so it's quite part of the year. You go to the one in Rugeley, for example, you've probably got 300 people working in it at the moment. Later on in the year, come towards Christmas time. You've got thousands working there. Right. They hire and they bring thousands back in for over the Christmas period, and then come January, thousands will be let go again. Yeah. They get they got they got send them out five hundred at a time, five hundred a day, or five hundred in every two days. Five hundred people will be let go. Makes you wonder what they they're working as. They don't even tell them they're going to be let go. They they let them come into work that morning, yeah. and they they get a message as they walk in. As soon as they clock in. A message comes up for them waiting the main canteen, and they're all in the main canteen there. And the supervisor walks in and goes, "Work's finished yet?" Really? Yeah, so you've, you've <laughs> even turned up to work, yeah. not guaranteed a day's work. And then security's got to put up with all the mayhem. Yeah, and that's a part of your job, was it? You've got to get rid of them. Right. You've got to get them out the building and get all the security cards off them and everything, right. so they can't re-enter the building. You've got to escort them to their lockers and everything to make sure they get all this stuff out of their lockers. <laughs> so what are they doing in the other months of the year when Amazon don't need them? They're working for an agency. An agency will always find you work somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright mate, well thanks for the chat. No and, problem. Uh, yeah, let me give you a key ring so you know who I am. You've been so nice hey, to me. Look at these key rings. <laughs> yeah, that's the YouTube channel so if you ever want to have a look at it, feel free. I've seen your videos before, but never seen your face, obviously, because yeah. you're always behind the camera. Behind the camera, aren't I? <laughs> nice to meet you. What was your first name? Paul. Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Take care. Dude, not all security are these rogues. No, <laughs> and you've proved it. Credit to you, Paul. Thank you, mate. Yeah. So there we have it. Paul. He did try it on a little bit at the start to say, I work for Prologis, and Prologis manage this whole estate. And maybe at night time, if the gate was closed, then yeah, get off. But the fact that these places are open for business and they might welcome me, then we've always got that right to approach them as a cold caller. Or in our case, stand there, film them, and see if they tell us to get stuffed. <laughs> so anyway, we never did find out what this place was. We're here in Birmingham. I never did do an intro because the gentleman here, I wasn't sure whether he was involved with the company or not. So, yep, we'll leave that one there, guys. Let's hide a DJ Audit's key ring. So outside the building, you've got the double yellows and you've got a drain. Directly in this bush here, you have the location of the DJ Audit's. Just there, look. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video, there's the drain, there's the key ring. If you are one of the first people to watch this video and you do want a DJ Audit's key ring, good luck with that. 
and I'll leave that one there. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.